Hello Masoka Universe! Well, LASK just rebranded and since rebranding and logos is one of my um, favorite things to get into, I thought it's probably nice to also uh, offer my thoughts on the whole thing. Um, it is so funny. I just read, I think it was on, on the past weekend, I read an article or an, an interview with the main designer of the uh, Borsche uh, in, uh, graphic design uh, firm who redesigned the Venezia jerseys, they did Calitea, um, so do the whole rebranding there and they also designed the new Inter logo uh, where you know the announcement didn't go as planned because it just got wild and so on blah 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 and the one thing that came from that interview that stuck with me is that I said the graphic designer you know uh, often the best logos are the simplest logos and you have to be daring to be so simple and it also comes into, into mind the new logo for the Spanish Football Federation which is just the circle RFEF which is also kind of ridiculous but you know uh, it's I get that however the main uh, designer there also said that um, there is a certain charm in traditional logos and so on that same evening, I thought, what if Lusk rebranded? What could be done? I mean, especially if you look at the uh, current logo, which I have here on this golden jer uh, jersey, which I decided to wear for a little bit of a different effect. But um, what could be done with this uh, logo right here? And I actually, I always liked this logo, despite, you know, it not being so popular with, with, with the fan base. But, you know, there are some obvious things that, that could be done. Um, you know, focus on this part, maybe take out the circle logo, maybe rework this a little bit. You know, few things that could be done. Uh, don't reinvent the wheel. Well, this is exactly what happened. Um, however, of course, it came with a big shitstorm as well but i think before we go into the design it itself is probably a uh, time to revisit a little bit the logo history for lusk uh, the first first things first um the what many consider the original logo has been used by lusk um, when they made their own clothing line up here this is the circular flag logo and i will put another um bigger one for, 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 for that one on the screen as well. I had it on the, on the shirt. This is maybe even without the circle, just the flag. This was the last logo that I was used to. The flag logos are very popular in the German speaking world. I'm thinking of course Hertha Berlin, but also within Austria, we have the Wiener Sportclub and we have Sturm Graz who also went uh, back to the old flag logo. So there is something about it. Um, however, um, this was never worn on a shirt by itself. It has, has to be said. If it was worn, it was like on this retro shirt from the Final Six, that it just said Lusk. Or in the mid 90s, there was the big uh, thing is no one knows where Lusk is from. We need to put the lints in there. So they had, uh, I think in the mid, mid 90s, they'd had just some lettering, Linzer ASK, ASK, so where the L is kind of underlining and then under the K. Uh, um, uh, under the Linzer then at the very end it was ASK it was kind of a clumsy logo but it should get the point across that we're from Linz kinda sorta not really and then uh, the uh, president Riga took over we had a new Nike contract exclusive for Austria and a really professional rebrand did happen uh, which resulted and I've here the first away jersey in this logo and uh, this was a revolution at the time and it was kind of not so well liked i think the best part of it i really like the font this very strong sans serif font and l stands for Linz, and then you also have Linz in here which was probably the most contentious part of, of the logo because it's kind of double meaning l stands already for Linz, and then you have Linz again Yes, there was then the whole thing that there was a merger between Lusk and FC Linz, which were the rival, and so that's why it was FC Lusk Linz, which didn't make much sense overall. In any case, uh, Lusk Linz was at that moment the name. But 
I have to say my favorite, favorite part of this was, was the reworking of the old logo. And I want to show you a scarf a little bit later. But I thought if you would have just used this logo, I think it is a brilliant reworking. Yes, it changes the old flag where the upper Austrian flag was on the bottom. So it kind of reverses it. Maybe this could be reworked. But I think if you have this, this is a brilliant logo. Um, maybe use instead of this flag, the old Lask flag, and then you have the roundel. I really, really enjoyed this logo. And I think it should have been more prom prominent ever since. Um, so this last logo was in place for a bit more than 10 years until the, uh, un uh, until the centenary came. But it was present on all the jerseys, but there was one it iteration in 2007 when Lasker just promoted that they had had on a jersey this version, which is very close to what we have gotten now. Uh, I personally never really liked like this because uh, this looks a little bit too squat and why separate it? It looked better together. For the centenary, they made two minor adjustments. They took the logo, they put the 100 year banner, which then was removed, but they also made kind of a curved top, which I think improved the logo a little bit. And this is what we're having or had up until now with one other adjustment that the old logo was put on there as well. So this is what is up until now was the current Lask logo. And so I was thinking, yeah, rebranding. Re I mean, you could really go and separate this out again, but I want to have the round look and I actually said I would have loved. And again, I'm going back to the scarf. I would have loved to see an adapted version of this. I didn't really want to see them going for this without lint. But this is what we got. So uh, they made a kind of a double rebranding, which is something that I have not really, really, really seen uh, a club doing. They say, okay, we use the old logo, we put it even on, on, on the jersey, but for our main logo, we just go with a simplified version that just says Lusk now in black. So we have still the white shield, which is kind of straightened out. So very much like this, and I put it up on the screen and I have the four stripes below and on top we have Lusk in a new font that we have developed just for the club. Now, the new font to me is something you have to get used to. Um, for my liking, it's a little bit too elongated, but I guess it fits with the entire concept. So uh, we have to uh, take it for what it is. However, I think they dropped the ball is what really was nice was the red letter L. Because AL stands for Linz, then ASK is basically how um, the fans are calling the team. And it also, I mean, L, Linz, the city shield of Linz is more or less red. These are the city colors. It's also the colors of Upper Austria. Yes, the club colors are black and white, but there always should be a little bit of red in there. So this is, I think, where they dropped the ball a teeny little bit because, you know, you can go monochromatic and just have half, half lost. But I think for the full color logo, I would have liked the L. I do like that they give now a special position for the old logo. It is now centered on the new jersey and we'll talk about the new jerseys in, in, as well. And also that they make now uh, three marketing lines in, in a way they have the technical wear. Uh, then they have a special line that it uses only the old logo that was a little bit reworked, a little bit modernized. I think I understand why they made the flag bigger. It goes into in, 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 into circle. Uh, so it's also make this that uh, like a lifestyle wear and they make a little bit more modern lifestyle wear with the new main logo. As I said, the new main logo for my liking is a little bit too much bare bones. Um, there was a certain elegance there was a certain elegance to all the old logo although there were maybe too many white spaces here but i you know on the other side you gotta get 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 used to you have to give it some time the shitstorm was fully there i mean everyone disliked the new logo and then of course we need to talk about the new jerseys as well i won't give grades now because for that is the uh, austrian bundesliga jersey review which will come somewhere uh july august However, they took this very popular jersey, a uh, retro jersey, 
and made a, uh, a whole set out, out of it. Unfortunately, I still think it looks best in the black version. Uh, the home version in white, the yellow sleeves, I will never like that. However, you know, so be it. Um, what I think where they really missed a little bit is that, you know, you have the striping and you have this very much empty space. I would have done an asymmetric sponsor, similar to what Ajax did in, in the 90s. Use this white field and just have the stripes not broken. And put the sponsor either vertically or find something creative. Uh, that is one thing that I'm missing there. I really think that the home jersey looks a little bit bare bones because it's so much white. It looks like a white and yellow jersey. The black does, does, doesn't really shine through. The away jersey is definitely the best of, uh, of, of them all. And I think having the, up, the shield of Upper Austria, coat of arms of Upper Austria, and then the old Lask logo on there does something, I gotta say. And then, of course, the third jersey is still in pink, which, of course, everyone is going crazy about. Um, there is more black in there now. It's uh, pink and black. And yes, uh, there is a nice motto from the main, uh, one of the main sponsors, a bit of the WWT, who want to supply water everywhere. So there is a good message behind it. I just wish it was red. If it is red, no one will, but you know, we will have pink jerseys. I don't want to comment too much on, on it because too much has been said about it already. But yeah, the new jerseys, I wish we wouldn't have to... I'm more bugged by the yellow sleeves. I'm really more bugged by the yellow sleeves, but hey, so be it. In any case, uh, I would like to hear your opinion on the new logos uh, that they offered and this interesting two-part way of kind of having the old and the new kind of, it's a little bit still confusing with new lines. It's also confusing that the new jerseys have been presented. However, they will only be worn for the last home game of the season, which is as far as I know, roughly in a month of, from now. So they still play at least one game in the old uh, jerseys. Which, yeah, I think I may have to get one with the yellow sleeves sooner or later. Any case, drop a line below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and I'll surely talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.